Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfield. Today I have just a few quick tips and tricks to share with you so you can improve your bot building experience, be more efficient, and build better bots. So the first one involves the welcome message here. As I've mentioned in previous videos, the welcome message is like the home page of a bot. It's the very first thing users will see when they're coming into the experience organically. So on this welcome message, by default, you'll have a welcome message that looks like this. You'll have some sort of content talking to the user, informing them as to how they can interact with the bot. Now, before you launch a bot, in the initial stages when you're still building it, my recommendation is that you actually delete this welcome message while connecting it to your page. The advantage here is if you delete this welcome message, like I will do right here, this will allow users to still interact with your page and message you as they normally would, but the advantage for you is that all of these people messaging you since the bot is connected will be counted as subscribers so you can reach out to them again in the future. Now, of course, due to Facebook's changing of its broadcasting policies, the only real way to reach them will be through sponsored messages, but at least you're still capturing them on that subscriber list. So deleting the welcome message before launching the bot while having the bot connected is my recommendation to you. Again, this will allow you to build your subscriber list without having the bot interfere and any of that. So one other quick thing before I move on to the next tip is that if you are using this approach, you will want to make sure you go to the configure tab. And then in the persistent menu here, you want to remove all elements as I've done right here so that again, Obviously, the user won't be able to initiate the bot that you're still in the process of building from that welcome message because there's no button to access it. But you also, again, here in the persistent menu, you want to remove all of those options so that they can't go to any sort of block that's still in progress in the rest of your experience. So that's the first tip as far as the welcome message is concerned. The next one is on the default answer. So same goes for the default answer, although I recommend removing this while the bot is actually connected to the page, even after you've gone live and launched the experience. Now, there are extenuating circumstances here where you will want to include a default answer, but for the most part, I would recommend removing it entirely. And for reference, the default answer is just a message that will get sent if a user sends a message to your bot and there's no AI response set up for that. So the reason to remove it basically is if you're using any sort of third party app or even if you're just having live chat agents respond to messages, if users respond back, then they're going to get this default answer message unless you remove it or unless you're using live chat in chat field. So again, say that you have live chat agents responding to messages through the Facebook page inbox. If you have a default answer, every time that user responds, they're going to get this message unless you remove it like so. So just something to keep in mind, it does depend on your circumstances, but I probably would recommend more often than not to remove the default answer. Let's go back to the welcome message here for a second to cover the final two tips here. So the first one that not many people surprisingly know about is something called a ref link. So a ref link is just a way to, let's call it deep link to different content, different blocks in your bot. So let's say I already have a ref link created here, but let's go deeper into this quiz that I've created, although I haven't created questions for it. And let's say I want to send a friend who's maybe testing my bot a direct link to this specific block, this specific content, so that they can just easily access that without having to go through the entire flow and experience of the bot. So really simple to do this. All you have to do is have your page connected to, or your bot connected to a page rather. And once your bot is connected to a page, all you have to do is you'll see this link button up here. You click that and enable this slider and then you can choose copy URL and then that'll be copied to your clipboard. And again, it'll generate up here. You can send that to a friend or even if let's say you're running an email campaign, you wanna send people to a specific block, again, cutting out all of that preliminary experience, you can do just that and it's super powerful big time saver for either yourself when you're testing the bot or if you just want to send a segmented list of people to specific content that you know is going to bode well. So the final tip that I have for you is back on the welcome message. 
This is the simplest tip and a huge time saver again. Uh, I actually personally didn't know this for a while, even after I was working at Chatfuel, fun fact. Uh, but what this is, is it involves creating buttons and also quick replies. So let's say that you have a text card here that says, welcome to the bot. And then let's create a button that links to, let's say this first quiz question here. So we'll say, let's say something like start quiz. We'll link this to that Q1 block and cool. Now the tip here obviously is not just creating the button, but if you go to click on this block that I've created right here, this reference to the block, if I double click it, it'll magically take me to that block. Now in this example, it seems pretty minimal in terms of how helpful it is because the bot is such a small, simple experience, but obviously you can imagine the more content that you add in your bot, the more complex it gets. This can really, really help you out if you're struggling to find where certain content is located in this left panel here. And like I said, the same works for quick replies. So if we add a quick reply here, as you would imagine, it works in the same way. So we can say something like start quiz. Maybe we wanna to link to that third block instead. We can do that, double click and bam, there we go. So those are four quick, simple tips and tricks for chat fuel in building your bot going through that whole process as a recap again first one i would say remove the welcome message this will allow you to capture subscribers before your bot is even live so you can get a jump start on that second is removing the default answer again this will prevent any third-party apps from interfering with your chat fuel experience Next is generating ref links. Again, these are deep links that send people to specific content that you have in the bot. It takes all of the legwork out of going through a long process just to get to a specific piece of content. And then finally, these button or block references, so to speak, where you can just double click on that reference and it'll take you right there, shortcutting all of that extra time and effort of finding where that content is. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any other tips and tricks that you'd like to share, feel free to mention them in the comments below and we'll talk soon. Happy botting.